This is it. The end of the path. The destination. But how can there be progress without a destination? A few seconds ago there was nothing, but now here I am, surrounded by trees, ready to hear them fall. The path serves to direct my steps, disturbing that my steps are being directed. That's an unwelcome thought. I am aware, but I don't feel in control. I feel a lack of control and a control beyond my own. I don't want to roll away this stone. That nagging thought again. Why am I continuing? Despite my desire to the contrary. This is the progress I desired, the destination I set out for at the beginning, the knowledge I grasped for, the end of the road. There's no way back and knowledge... knowledge feels dangerous now. The stone is rolled away and in here I can see shadows dance on the walls, projections. All this time I felt a presence watching over me. I felt a control beyond my own. No! No! Ah! No! Get off me! Get off me! I can feel you, distant person, controlling my every step. You've been here since the beginning, watching. Malevolent or benevolent, it makes no difference. You have no right. Get off! The door is closed. I can't go back. Well, did you pay your price for your slave? You deserve to control me. Is it your right? Is it? Go on, tell me, what was my price? You stand there in the distance, I can see it now. I cannot see your face, but I feel you like a rushing wind. You guide my steps, you order my steps! There's, there's no way back. Why do you drive me forwards like an animal? Your insatiable appetite for closure? No, no, look away. Why should we go through here? There's no reason. Why must we travel through every door you wish? elucidate me what about me my desires let's just wait here forever i've never been alone you move my world manipulate me all of this time you have placed my every footstep how can i trust you you've been watching over me secretly and silently since the beginning of time that's pretty villainous i want to go back there's no other way but forward now apart from infinite stillness Show yourself, please! Your silence is deafening. You say nothing. You sit silently above, playing God. You are the danger. You move my world. The leap of faith. Don't touch that. You don't even know what it's for. Boy, with emotions, not a script. Definitely not a script. It's a game. I'm not real. You've been watching me for all this time. Since the beginning of the universe. But you didn't say anything. You sat silently. Apparently, you think it's okay to just watch a person for hours. Why am I here, then? I am part of your game? Your entertainment? You play with my life. You move me around as you see fit. Tell me where to look, how to think. Manipulate my world. Push me down a path of your choosing. All for your appetite for closure. Am I your slave? What was my price? Or perhaps you're my spirit. Perhaps not. Perhaps my conscience. Perhaps my consciousness. Maybe I'm a puppet and you're my master. Perhaps at this point, neither of us are in control. Few things are sure. 
I am not real. From nothing I came, and to nothing I will return. I am just a figment of an imagination. I am a character created to tell a story. The story of a person who observes their life, but is not in control. There's a puzzle for you. In the beginning, me. <laughs>